Hey, Dr. Toyos here. Dry eye and pain. Why are dry eye patients experiencing so much pain? And what I've found using corneal confocal microscopy, getting a microscopic view of the cornea, is that inflammatory tears due to dry eye disease starts to change the nerves in the cornea. And our cornea has more nerves than any other part of our body. Now this is a typical patient who came in complaining of corneal nerve pain, just overall pain in the eye. And we did a corneal confocal and this one is her pre-treatment uh, corneal confocal. What starts to happen with an inflamed tear is you start to lose your nerves. So very few nerves there. The other thing that happens is you start to lose nerve branching. So instead of just having one nerve and then it branches out into several uh, other little nerves, you just start to just see no nerve branching whatsoever. Now what's really causing the pain, and this is my theory, is these little bundle of nerves that are abnormal called neuromas. So they're just like a little circle of uh, nerves that are bundled together and that causes a lot of severe pain. So we have patients who don't have nerve, uh, normal nerve density, don't have normal nerve branching, lost a lot of nerves, and don't experience pain. But then you get a patient that has a bunch of neuromas and some nerve density and some nerve branching and they experience a lot of pain. So what we're trying to do is get rid of these uh, neuromas. So how do we do that? So first of all, you gotta get the tear film uh, normalized and how I do that, most patients have my bony gland dysfunction, I treat them with intense pulse light and gland expression, we give them anti-inflammatory drops, cold compresses, cold drops, and see if a normal tear film without all the inflammation will uh, decrease that nerve pain and change the confocal. Now in this patient, that wasn't enough. So what we had to do is we had to turn to uh, platelet-rich plasma and observate. Now sometimes one or the other will take care of the problem, but sometimes you need both. So in this patient, PRP and observate uh, changed the corneal confocal from uh, a bunch of neuromas, no nerve density, no nerve branching to this confocal where you see actually strong nerves, some nerve branching. But the thing that you don't see here is the patient has lost uh, the neuromas. So if you're suffering from dry eye disease with uh, extreme pain, uh, there is hope and the goal is Get the tear film normal so you don't have an inflammatory tear and then turn to platelet-rich plasma or observate. Both of those things have nerve growth factor to actually change the nerve architecture and make them normal. And at this point so far, those are the only two things that I've seen that could change the nerves on corneal confocal microscopy. Thanks.